Today, we discuss one of the most commonly used herbs in the United States. Any guesses? A hint is that in ancient Egypt, she was known as the plant of immortality, and she was used by Cleopatra in her daily skincare routine. If you guessed aloe, then you're absolutely correct. Today, we are talking about Miss Aloe Vera herself. Aloe plants can grow to about 36 inches in diameter and have thick, fleshy, lance-shaped leaves with spiky edges. The leaves are anywhere from 6 to 20 inches long, depending on the growing conditions and species. And she usually grows in a rosette of 16 leaves at a time. When she flowers, she develops one flower stalk with a pendant of yellow or orange drooping flowers that is slightly swollen at the base. She can be grown from seed, cuttings, or division of pups that develop off of a mother plant. Aloe vera is native to the coasts of the Mediterranean Sea and North Africa. She enjoys climates of USDA hardiness zones 8 through 11 and prefers sandy soil like a cactus potting mix. Many of us have probably used an aloe product at least once in our lives as it is probably the number one plant to help heal sunburns. She contains compounds and enzymes that quickly decrease pain and inflammation along with stimulating skin repair. Along with being an amazing treatment for sunburns, she also lowers blood sugar, reduces constipation, treats mouth ulcers, prevents wrinkles, helps with acne, reduces dental plaque, heals shallow wounds and burns, and is antioxidant, antiviral, and antibacterial. Be cautious not to use her on deep wounds, surgical wounds, or fungal infections. Also do not ingest if you have a bowel obstruction, GI inflammation, liver disease, or kidney disease. And you should be aware that prolonged use can lead to electrolyte loss and dependence on the juice for normal bowel function. Aloe is said to be one of the plants with the strongest auras in nature and invites luck and protection into a home. Along with these energies, she can invite energies of healing, love, beauty, meditation, and immortality into a space, body, or event. Some say one can burn her dried leaves as incense to evoke wisdom, love, and guidance of the moon. There are also many luck spells that involve an aloe plant that I have seen. She also makes a great gift to give as a housewarming present to encourage energies of luck and protection into a new home. Aloe can be used as herself, a drink, an extract, as a cream, or in powdered form. Be cautious that if you are consuming aloe to, for soothing the gastrointestinal tract, you want to buy gel or products free of aloe in, unlike most extracts, which contain both the gel and latex of the plant. Aloe juice containing aloe in can act as a laxative and irritate the intestines. The recommended use for burns and other skin conditions is to apply several times daily. For colitis and intestinal problems, a dose of 25 milliliters to 30 milliliters, which is about two tablespoons, is recommended twice daily. And for diabetes, 10 to 20 milliliters, which is about one tablespoon daily, is recommended. The recipe to make aloe juice at home is simple. Simply add your desired amount of aloe gel from the leaf into the blender, along with either water and lemon juice or fruit juice of your choice, and blend until smooth and enjoy. Will you be adding an aloe plant to your garden, or do you already have one? If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.